Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bianca, for those of you who do not know me. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this very dewy, sparkly, glowy look using the new Master Palette. <laughs> using the new Master Palette. <laughs> I literally just flew across the room. Master Palette by Mario. This is the new palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. They collaborated with the celebrity makeup artist. I don't know how to say his last name. Mario De Devonovic. I can't say it, but he is the Kardashians makeup artist. He obviously works with a bunch of other amazing celebrities, but he is best known for his work with Kardashians. That's, I'm pretty sure, how he kind of got started in the industry. So this palette is basically just kind of screams Kardashian. So if you ever see those pictures of them looking really beautiful and golden and glowy in all of his gorgeous makeup pictures that he takes of them this palette will pretty much give you that look which is kind of what I was taking inspiration from how they always have a really soft subtle neutral smoke but then they have really glowy lids and beautiful skin and brushed up eyebrows so that is where I took inspiration from so if you like how this looks and you want to see how I created it please keep on watching. Before even starting my eye makeup or anything like that, I'm just going to be using my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Um, my skin is very, very dry. My eczema's been flaring up a little bit, so it's been like flaky and just like a mess. So I'm gonna try and hydrate it and let that really soak in before I start on anything. So I'm just gonna give this a good shake. This is what the bottle looks like. This stuff is amazing. This is why my skin right now kind of looks like luminous. So I'm going to give that a shake and then I'm just going to... All right, so I've already gone ahead and done my eyebrows. I'm going to do my eyebrows super lightly. I've been liking the really bushy looking brow with the hairs standing straight up. I've been really liking that look. So that's exactly what I've been doing. To start off the look, just like any other one, I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I'm just applying the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer to my eyelid. This is what the palette looks like. It's super beautiful, super neutral. I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it. It's just a great everyday palette. Some people complain that there is not enough matte colors in it. I can agree with that, but the colors that are matte are the ones that I think should be matte. You have a matte kind of like a cool toned brown. You have a matte like peachy color and then you have a matte a little bit more of a deeper warm brown and then the rest are all satin or a little bit more shimmery so i think it works but that is one complaint people have had otherwise the pigmentation is amazing the shadows blend out like butter the only my only you know my only downfall of the palette is that it doesn't have a light color like like a light brow bone color or a light um all over you know eyelid color that you could set your primer with. That's the only thing that I would like in a palette. I really like my palettes to have some type of light color to set my eyelids with. So to start off, I'm going to be taking the color named Lula, which is this one right here. That's the cool toned brown color. Dipping in once, tapping out the excess, and I'm going to be putting this right in to my crease. And I'm using my MAC 224 brush to place this in my crease. It's just a really nice large fluffy blending brush. I've used it in pretty much every other video so far. So just blend that into your crease using back and forth motions. Once your transition color, that first Lula color looks something like this, I'm going to jump next into the color Isabel, which is this one right here. It's like a little bit of a peach color, just very lightly. I'm only dipping into it a little bit tapping off the excess and I'm putting that right over where I just put that first transition color just to kind of warm things up just a little bit but nothing too dramatic I again just want to warm up the crease a little bit by adding a small amount of this peachy color right over and I'm using such a light hand to blend this out So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a base on my eyelid and this is 
the MAC paint pot in the color Bear Study. You know how everyone you see on Instagram is using like soft ochre paint pot. This is same idea, but it is a shimmery base instead of just a neutral colored base. So I'm gonna lay this down on my eyelid just using my finger. I'm just gonna take a small blending brush and before it sets, just buff out if anything did get into the crease. Okay, so once your base is down, whatever you're using, I've also been using underneath the um, shadows in this palette, I've been using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils in the color Yogurt and French Fries. They're very similar, but French Fries is a little bit deeper, a, like a dark bronze, and Yogurt is like a nice rosy gold, so those look really good under the shimmer colors in this palette. So next, back to the palette, I'm dipping into the color Paris. It's like the darkest shimmery color. It looks like that. And I'm going to be packing that right on top of this paint pot base that I just put on my eyelid. Just going right in with my finger. Then on top, I'm taking a little bit of Marina. It's a little bit of a lighter color. I'm just going to pat that right towards the center of the eye a little bit more. Now, just to darken everything up just a little bit, I'm taking the tiniest little amount of Violetta and I am putting that on a Morphe M139 tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna work that right right onto the outer edge just slightly so then I'm just going back to the brush that I used for the crease and I'm just slowly blending that out just so there's really no harsh edges and lines. Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking the color Bronx. It's like an olivey green color. I'm just gonna put this right on the center, the outer edge and the center of my lid, if that kind of makes sense. And I'll just slowly kind of blend it into the other colors. And after that, the eyes are pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna be taking my highlighter in Opal from Becca Cosmetics. I'm gonna be highlighting right underneath my brow bone, just for that extra glowy look. And next, I'm going to do my fake eyelashes. So I'm just using um, Ardell Wispy eyelashes. Put on a little bit of mascara, just coat your eyelashes lightly while your false eyelashes are drying. And then take your false eyelashes and apply them like you normally would. going to be starting on my face now then you can kind of jump back to your eyes and you know we'll do any finishing touches I'm going to be using my Becca aqua luminous foundation and it is in the color fair and I'm gonna be taking my real techniques beauty sponge which I've actually been really liking I think I've been liking it a little bit more than like a real beauty blender but we'll see so I'm just gonna start kind of working that in. Like I said, I have been very dry. And this foundation is, I mean, obviously by the name Aqua Luminous, very, very luminous and radiant. This is um, the first time I'm using it on my whole face. So we will see, I guess, how the coverage is and if it's buildable, if it, you know, clings to my dry skin so we'll see if it is at all buildable and if it's not I'll have to just you know work with it and go in with another foundation on top or something so this gives a really really gorgeous look to the skin but just around the areas where I do have um, 
a little bit of like discoloration and you know hyperpigmentation if you will a little bit um just in the cheek area over here i'm just gonna go in with a different foundation just for a little bit of added coverage i'm gonna be going in with my hourglass stick foundation right over here because it gives really good coverage and right here just lightly just to cover a little bit more. So next for concealing, I'm gonna be using just right underneath my eyes, my Makeup Forever Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream in number five. All right, so next before setting your face with powder, I'm gonna be liquid highlighting and I'm going to be using my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Celestial. I like to do this before I set anything with powder. I feel like if I set it with powder and then go in with these liquid highlighting drops, it doesn't sit as nicely on powder as it does wet liquids or creams. So I'm just using a tiny little bit on the back of my hand, tapping some on my finger and I'm just going to be picking some up and dabbing it on my cheekbone. You're going to go ahead and set your face very lightly because you don't want to take away from the luminous look. At least I don't, but I like to set my under eyes just because I know that they will crease. So I just dip my wet sponge into my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I just set right under my eyes. So once your face is set, you can move on to your highlight, your bronzer, your contour, all that kind of stuff. All right, going back into the Master by Mario palette. I'm gonna be taking just a little bit more of that Lula on a tiny little pointed um, divider brush. I'm gonna be running this along the lower lash line just to add a little bit of depth, smoke it out. All right, so once you have your face makeup on, your blush, your bronzer, pretty much the last step is lips. You're gonna be doing a nude lip. You could do any color lip that you really want. You could do a berry lip, you could do purple, you could do more of a pink or a brown, even a really nice deep brown would look really nice with this. But I really like when Mario has done looks in the past that are very bronzy and then he does like the nude glossy lip. So for this look, I'm sticking with that, but you can do pretty much anything you want. So I'm going to be using for lip liner a Kiko Milano automatic precision lip liner in the color 500. It's just a twist up uh, lip liner. I'm gonna be lining my lips with this. Then on top, I'm gonna take one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever. I'm going to be taking Myth from MAC Cosmetics. It's like a, pretty much a true nude. It has a little bit of a peachy pink undertone, but it, it's a really beautiful nude. So yeah, this is the final look, a uh, very glowy, luminous look for the holidays and for, you know, the winter months coming up. Obviously, your skin is a little bit more dry, so I feel like all the products that I use, the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist, the Aqua Luminous Foundation, um, just the highlight in general caters to the colder months just because it is tough to keep your skin looking this luminous. But yeah, so this was just, you know, playing around the new Master by Mario palette. I will definitely be doing more looks with this palette. I want to see what else I can do with it, with the blues and the greens and being a little bit more dramatic. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you learned a few tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like the video and subscribe, share it, you know, everything. All the products that I used will be listed down below in the little description box along with all of my contact information on Instagram and Twitter, all that good stuff. So. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.